Hello, my friends. Let's take a nice breath in. Big sigh. Ah, let the breathing come back to normal. Welcome. My name is Drake, and this is Touching the Edge. I'm just really thrilled to see you today because I know that if you're getting together with me consistently, that you are stimulating your commitment to thriving. And I'm about thriving. This is more the most important thing you can do is thrive. The best thing you can do for the world is thrive because when you're thriving, you're more confident, you're more positive. And when you're more positive, you're doing what you need to do to make a difference in the world. You know, not a negative difference, not an endless fight, but focusing on uh, an actuality that you're working to create. That's boldness. I'm asking you to consider to be bold. Be bold today. And recognize that in being bold, that you have to focus in developing that sharp edge of discipline in a process that you do for its own sake. You know, it's like, uh, you know, Kinsho or, or Satori in, in, in Buddhism. You know, I, I may not be pronouncing those words accurately, but it's about uh, developing a state that you can't pursue that comes on you. Sometimes when you're involved with meditation practice, suddenly you'll reach this blissful, rarefied state that you know everything is all right. And of course, you're going to want to chase it. But you can't chase it that way. You, it has to come as a byproduct. In much the same that thriving comes. Focus on breaking the tasks down, slowing down to speed up. But be bold. Be bold. Meet the challenge with boldness. Balance the inner and the outer world. When you hear sirens, do something positive right then in real time. So we're involved with this this uh, initiative to thrive. This is the sixth week for me. And in this sixth week, my focus is in family. Now, the first area of focus was diet, money management, judgment, creativity, marketing. And now I'm focusing in really being present to my family. I'm asking you, what are you working on? How is it going? And by the way, when I say I'm focusing on it, I'm not focusing on it exclusively. I'm going to be working on, on, on activating all six of those areas in small little ways. Now, next week, what we're involved with is a four-month process, three six-week periods back-to-back. -back. Uh, and we're involved with this process. Next week, I will be starting it again. I'll be mixing up all six of those different categories and starting up fresh week by week once again now i want to encourage you because this is a game that we're, de we're developing together if you want to pull one area out maybe one area you have that just feels like it it really needs to have attention take one area out out of that previous six and plug it in and do that that mixing up so let's do it today let's be bold today i feel it right now how about you i'm going to ring the bell i'm going to ask you to listen carefully here we go. You know, I want to ask you to consider that the ultimate boldness is not reactive. It's coming from your own authentic self. I bring my hands into prayer position and I bow to you because you are the leader that we need. Namaste, my friend. Have a great day today.